All right, so today I'll be showing how to make an airplane in Blender. So what you want to start with is you're going to start with a cube like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to delete it. And you're going to press N, which will bring up this. And you come down here to background uh, images, which is at the bottom. Add an image. So for this, you want a blueprint, which see I have right here. So that's a 544, which is this guy right here. So now that you have an image, you're going to do shift A, and you're going to add a cylinder and make that a 12 face cylinder. So what you do is you go to the left here and you have the option to change the vertices which changes the faces <clears throat> so now you're going to rotate it so this will be the center of the airplane so you just line up the picture size it do all that all right now you're going to hit tab and Z and you're going to change the mode to faces so you can select faces all that good stuff and you're going to start by extruding let's say the back side I'm going to bring that out to back here all right and you just line it up with the lines and I'm going to extrude again scale it down and line it up Do the same thing with the front. All right. So basically, all you're doing is you're pressing E dragging it out and then you're pressing S and bringing it to the size that you want. Alright, now that you're here, what you can do is you're gonna go you're gonna go to the top view, which will be seven. And because let's see. Alright, so then you're gonna line this up. Like that more or less you're gonna go into points so you can select a row <clears throat> like that and let's see if I can line this up better all right, let's see. All right there we go so now you're just going to do S, you're going to press S, and then you're going to press X, which will only allow it to be scaled on this axis right here. So what that allows you to do is to make the top and bottom the right shape. Once you have that, then what you do is you add wings and you basically proceed doing the same thing over and over again until everything looks right. So. Alright, so now you have this. 
So what you're gonna do is to start, you're gonna line it up on the side again. If if you want to, you can add other images and change the axis that it's viewed on right here. If you want to do that, I don't because I'm lazy. But yep. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add, add a cube. That's not a cube. All right, there you go. Add a cube. And you're gonna line it up to where the window should be. So let's see. Yeah. All right, and then you go over to, you select your fuselage and you go over to the right, add this uh, wrench looking thing, add a modifier, select this guy right here, and then you change this to difference, use the little eyedropper thing, or you could click the cube and choose cube, click apply, delete this, and there you go. And you have that. Um, you can always, you know, mess with it, make it a little for the way you want it. But basically, I'm not going to change anything at the moment. But what you would do is you would select the top faces and you would press E, which will bring it down like this. Basically, what that does is it gives you a hollow area for you to put seats and whatnot. And then, as far as, let's see, uh, actually, I'm going to change that right now because that'll bug me. Let's see. Right. And let's. That's not working. <clears throat> so now you have this. So now what you can do is you're going to add cubes, or just one cube, for the tail. You're going to drag it to the size of it, whatever that may be. You can do Control R, which allows you to cut an object with lines. Make it however many you want, really. Doesn't matter. The more the the more there are, the less blocky it'll look. But just drag each one to the line, just like that. And oh yeah, this uh, circle thing. I'm pressing C for that. What that does is instead of selecting just one dot, you select both of them at once from side view. So it just makes it easier. And for the back, because it's fairly straight, uh, I'm going to select all of these and press R. And that does that. Oops. Right there. Yep. All right. And then. this, drag it down here. Now we got that. It's not prettiest, but what you would do is you would, um, you know, make it a little more curved on the top and 
just make it look better in general. Alright, so then you got the scoop here on the bottom, so you're going to add a cylinder. I'd make it eight faces for this one. That's just for low poly, depending on the game you're putting it into. Um, oops, let's see. Yeah, I spawned that in, in edit mode, which combined it with the tail, which I did not want. All right, so what you do is you scale it to the size, roughly. Scale X, drag it up a bit. And then from here, let's extrude it, drag it up. And, um, yep, just drag everything around so it looks however you want it to look. Um, I do things a little more realistically than most people. So you can always change whatever bothers you. Or what doesn't. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Alright. So now for the front, because see it goes up a little, we're going to do that. Hang on. There we go. Voila. So now we got to get the front here. So because it doesn't meet this entire thing here, I'm um, going to make it a separate part. Make sure it's centered. Let's see here. There we go. So now we have that. Um, this guy right here, we're going to do this, actually, I'm gonna extrude it and scale it way down, so it kind of looks a little bit better. Let's see, um, probably won't use this model because it's kind of a speed build, but just kind of show basics and whatnot. So, um, oh yeah, for you to see the image, so you're going to, between 5, if you press 5, it kind of changes the view, you press 3, and then press 5, and if, it might look like this, and then when you press 5, it looks like that, so, if you didn't know that already. Alright, now you got to do the wing, so what you, what you do is you add a, another cube, make sure is centered and you basically make it the width of the wing but what I do is I, I make it uh, I basically make a little line right here and the reason for that is I like I don't like it to look like a just a cube that bothers me so <clears throat> most people think it's doesn't really fit unturned at all but um, which is the game I'm making this stuff for and then oh yeah what I did here was I went I scaled so press s and then you press X and drag it out so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna line it up top view again so to do this whole thing again probably should just add it more than one image but Alright, just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Control R in the middle, and I'm just going to double click real quick so it doesn't move. 
and I'm going to drag this back. I'll highlight these two corners. I do both sides at the same time so it's even. And just use one side of the drawing because not all of them are the same on both sides, so that can mess you up. All right, I'm going to do Control R, and the reason for that is is that I get this line on this one right here on both sides, and that means that oh, not what I want to do. That means when I take this and drag it out, the wing looks the right shape. Um, it's angled up a little bit, so what I'm going to do is uh, drag this down to the front view. This is also why you want all the views. And I'm going to drag these up based on the left wing. So. All right, yep. Now, there's the elevator, which is this little thing, which is, let's see, this guy right here. So, same thing. Add a cube, center it, as always. Now, I would line it up uh, side view so you could get exact position, but I'm worried about it at this point. Then press this view. We do the same thing all over again. How fun is that? But um, yep, so you can see how it's not lined up. There we go. And I do that same thing so it's not flat, but you can do that as well. Just kind of a detail highlight to add. Um, there you go. So now I'm going to edit this. We're going to make a line in the middle. And I'm going to select these two lines. The thing is, the uh, these two lines want to move together, so it's an even spacing throughout the whole object. Just like that. And bam! There's a plane. Um, so, one way for. I, I would do this in more detail, but you can either do the same thing you did with the cockpit and put another object inside it and use a boolean tool. Or you could press I. What that does is it basically makes a face on the face, and then you extrude that, and it's hollow. It's a good detail to add. <clears throat> and that's about it for the basics. Um, 